Welcome to our lesson on finding the gradient and the midpoint between two coordinate pairs. So we're going to begin by finding a midpoint between 3, 1 and 5, 5. And we'll do this by sketching the two as a line segment. So to work out the midpoint, we need to find the x and the y value halfway along this line. To do this, we can work out the change in x, which is the difference between the 3 and the 5. So the change in x is equal to 2, and the change in y, which is the difference between the 5 and the 1. So the change in y is 4. So the midpoint will be half of a change in x, which is 1. So the midpoint x value will be 3 at 1, which is 4. And the y value will be half of a 4, which is 2. And that will be the 1 at the 2, which gives us 3. So the coordinate 4 and 3 is our midpoint. Now to work out the gradient, this is a measure of a change in y divided by the change in x. We know the change in y is 4 and the change in x is 2. So 4 divided by 2 gives us a gradient of 2. OK, let's try another question. In this question, we've been asked to work out the midpoint and the gradient between 4, 5 and negative 5, negative 7. Do you want to try and do this question to yourself? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So we'll begin by sketching the two as a line segment. We'll find the change in x as a difference between negative 5 and 4, which is 9, and the change in y as a difference between the 5 and the negative 7, which is 12. So the midpoint will be half of a change in x, which is 4.5, from the negative 5, which is negative 0 0.5. And the change in y is half of a 12, which is 6, added to the negative 7, which is negative 1. So our midpoint is negative 0 0.5, negative 1. For our gradient, this is the change in y, divided by the change in x, which we know is 12, divided by 9, which simplifies to make 4 thirds. In the next question, we can find the midpoint and the gradient between two general points. So now we've been given the coordinates of n and n squared and m and m squared. So again, we'll sketch the two points as a line segment. So we can work out when changing x, as the difference between the two x values, so m minus n, and the change in y as the difference between the two y values, m squared minus n squared. So to work out the value of the x at the midpoint, we're going to half the m minus n, and then add this back on to the original x value. We can simplify this by writing them both as fractions with a common denominator, so we can see that the x value of our midpoint is m plus n over 2. We'll do the same for our y value. And this will be half of a change in y, which we can add on to the original y value. Again, we'll write them as fractions with a common denominator. So the y value of our midpoint is m squared plus n squared all over 2. Now we'll work out our gradient, which is the change in y divided by the change in x. The change in y we know is m squared minus n squared. And the change in x is m minus n. We can simplify this fraction by working out the difference of two squares on our numerator. And this is m minus n multiplied by m plus n all over m minus n, and we can simplify this fraction by dividing both by m minus n. So our gradient is m plus n. So now we're going to try one more question which combines everything that we've covered so far. So finally, we're going to work out the equation of a perpendicular bisector that passes between points A and B. We'll begin by sketching a line segment AB and the perpendicular bisector will intersect at 90 degrees 
halfway along AB. And we know the gradients between the two lines are the negative reciprocal of each other because they cross at right angles. So we'll begin by finding the gradient of the green line segment. So the change in y is 10 and the change in x is 20. Then this gives us a gradient of 1 half, which means the gradient of the pink line will be negative 2. And we can put this into the equation of a straight line, where y is equal to mx plus c. And we know the gradient is negative 2, so y is equal to negative 2x plus c. And finally, we need a point that lies along the pink line, which is the midpoint of the green line segment. And because the change in x is 20, we'll add 10 to the negative 8 to get 2. And the change in y is 10, so we'll add the 5 onto the 3 to get 8. So when y is equal to 8, x is equal to 2. And we'll substitute these two values into our equation. So 8 is equal to negative 2x plus c. So c will equal 12. So the equation of our perpendicular bisector, y is equal to negative 2x plus 12. Thank you for watching. You can download the full lesson by clicking on the link in the description below. Thanks again and take care.